So welcome back to another Kiss Off video tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to cover part two of the of the sizing a planetary gear set for precision mechanics. In this part, we're going to review the fine sizing features of Kiss Off uh, and how we use that to to size a planetary gear set. So this Kiss Off tutorial is available in your examples uh, in the program. So if we go here to our examples, right down here, click examples, under the cylindrical gears heading, in examples, we open this up and we can come right down and find this tutorial. If you uh, are listening to this in English, E is the one you want. So <clears throat> part one, we already discussed how we rough size this gear set, and this and that's where we're at at this point, is we've rough sized the gear uh, gear set and this is the uh, the results of the rough sizing these results meet our safety you know our required safeties uh, for root and flank strength but now we want to optimize this a little bit further so we're going to go to our fine sizing icon right here on the top it's a little arrow to the left with a small checkered flag behind it and first thing we're going to do is we're going to change this. We wanted a 4.25 ratio. Um, we're going to size our step deviations. Now you see when I when I hit the sizing, it gives me this uh, the sized amount right here, plus or minus, and it's going to also depend on the center distance down here a little bit. Um, I wanted to have a 0.5 module minimum, and I'm just going to bump this up a little bit to 0.75 to to gain that that range I think I'm going to need. I'm not going to have any pressure angle change or helix angle change. It's, both of those are going to be 20 degrees and zero. And then my center distance I'm going to size. Now if I make this five, okay, and then I size it, it's going to size it back to this normal module up here. 0.5 and 7.5. So 7.3 and 9.9. .9. The, the V circle of the internal gear Okay, this is going to be the, the the pitch diameter of the of the ring gear. Okay, plus two addendums is how that is defined. And you can see the, there's an equation. If you go to our search function and type in V circle, you get this equation: small d plus two times x mn. So it's x would be the uh, the addendum. <clears throat> so it's two addendums larger than the pitch diameter as your V circle right here. That's what that that's the equation if you're interested. That's how this number came about. And you can find that in your uh, tutorial as well. We're gonna make this plus or minus ten percent. And then the minimum root diameter at twenty nine millimeters, we were given a package constraint of thirty five and a rim thickness of three millimeters. So uh, the rim diametral thickness is going to be 6, and 35 minus 6 is 29. We're not going to play with the face width at all at this point. We're going to leave it as is. Uh, conditions 3, we're going to suppress energy or gear ratios, and um, I'm also going to suspend results that do not meet my required safety factors. Uh, the tutorial doesn't have you do that, but I'm going to do that. Uh, for balanced... Specific sliding, this is how we're looking at our profile shift coefficient, and that's based on the sun gear. And note this check if evenly pitched mounting is possible. That means if you have like five planets, it's going to check and see if the teeth um, collide with each other from the from each of the planets. So you just want to make sure if it, it is mounting with all those planets. In this case, we only have three, so it's not, I don't think it'll be an issue. So at this point, we're ready to calculate. You see our fine sizing, uh, you get a progress calculation just like rough sizing. We get eight solutions, and here's our solutions. Now with fine sizing, there's an extra feature here, it's called graphics. And if you click the graphics tab, you can now see all of the, uh, you, can, you can graph your results, and you can kind of choose the ones that seem to make sense for you. In this case, I've set the horizontal axis to flank safety and the vertical axis to root safety. So I'm looking for 
Uh, oh, and I also put a color scale of, of the normal module. So I'm looking for a the best root safety, flank safety combination, and it looks like it's probably going to be this, this number six, and you can see six is going, looks like a 0.5 module or thereabouts. So I have my number six here, and if I go back to my results, that respond, correlates to this guy right here. Okay? Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that you can add and remove these columns right here in this fine sizing module. So if I click in the background here, I can do a show hide. This is just a right click, show hide, and I have all these different things I can show and hide in here. If I want to see more or less, this is where I'd do that. The other thing I can do is I can sort by these. If I just go up and left click on a header, I can sort from Oh, that was a bad column. Let's look at uh, let's look at the smallest safety factor, right? I can sort from smallest to greatest, or I can sort from highest to lowest. Does that make sense? And in this case, um, <clears throat> I can also do it here. But you can see that my looks like the best choice I have is this one choice number six. So I'm going to accept that. Now if I don't close this sizing window, I can move this off to another screen if I've got multiple screens and I can do a bunch of work here. And if I don't like what I'm seeing, then I can come back and grab another one of these. If I close this, then that's my, then that's what I get. And then I have to run the fine sizing again. So I accept this and I close. And now we have our uh, root safeties down here and our flank safeties. You can run this and we're looking pretty good. At this point we want to add some a little further optimization and the way we do this now is we're going to go and turn on a couple things. We're going to try and optimize this tooth form and the first thing we do is we go to calculation and turn our modifications on. The tutorial tells us that we're going to add rounding in this, uh, tip rounding, and a value is going to be 0 0.05 for each of these. So right now I'm just putting tip rounding on the gears, 0 0.05, 0 0.05, okay. And then I'm going to do a modification sizing, all right. And it's pretty easy to do, it's not too bad. But on modification sizing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right to this sizing button right here. Sizing modifications. I'm going to click this on. And I'm not going to do tooth trace modification, but I do want to do tip and root relief. And I want this to be a smooth mesh. So I click the sizing for smooth meshing. I put a tip relief on here. And now I have different things I can choose for the type of modification I'd like. Uh, I want a short profile modification and an arc-like modification. Uh, this in experience has been shown to give us the best um, non-collision type modifications that we want. I'm going to turn the modifications for gear one and three off and I just want to apply this to the uh, to the planetary gear set. So when I calculate it's telling me that uh, the height of the modification profile is too short. The minimum length of uh, 0.2 times the module is set. Okay. And it says it's that for 2, 3, 2 as well. So, And we're going to accept this. And now it's asking us, do you want to change input modification to smooth meshing? And this is in the dialog to find details of strength. And we say yes. And that actually is right here. If we go to our rating tab, details of strength, it's this profile modification here. We probably had high load capacity or maybe without no right in or something, but we wanted smooth meshing. And that's how we set our um, calculation or modification. So now we have... <coughs> We've modified the tip, and we can run this, 
And we have uh, some things that changed a little bit, not too bad. Now we're going to modify the root. And what we're going to do on the root is add an elliptical root modification. Okay? So we go to mod we go back to calculation and we're going to turn our tooth form on. And here's where we can add an elliptical root modification. So we're basically going to create a large radius root in this bottom. And we're going to do it automatically. So we go to this automatic value right here. And then we right click on this. Add the operation elliptical root modification. Program then comes in that gives you um, a coefficient for the curvature. But then it allows you to size the... Uh, the modification 7.58 and we're going to do the same thing for the planets we're going to size those and then we can also do the same for the internal gear although I think we might get an error on this because it's a pretty if I look at my oops, internal gear it's pretty Pretty full radius already. We can size this. Yeah, it says here the calculation with the graphical method. So it's um, it doesn't like that. We're we were at 1.1 previous. Let's see where we're at right now. 1.07. So we actually lost a little bit of root safety by doing that. So in the tooth form, I would probably I would probably just delete this for the internal gear. The tutorial says to uh, keep it, but I'm not going to keep it because I get a better root strength otherwise. So now, uh, here we are. We've made this modification. And, of course, you can put any of the, any of the information that you really want in there at any time. And the nice thing about this is you can, you can see the, the geometry as you're updating the program. So in this case... I double click this ribbon right here by the geometry it pops the window out and I can look at it in more detail and if I want to do some playing around with these curves here we go I can click this uh, little wrench icon up here that's our properties list and I can turn things on and off so the way the program works I'm going to turn this off if I turn these off, I have no tooth at all in this inner planet, you can see. Um, the only thing that's turned on is the, uh, the base circle right here, this red circle, the little red circle. Now, remember when we first came in, we set a design and we, we chose the, uh, the rough sizing and then the fine sizing. And that it would be this initial gear geometry. This is where we started. Okay. And then we added some modifications, right? We had a tip rounding and also some tip relief. Now this one, I'm going to change this to a, uh, to a pink. If I zoom in here a little bit, You can see how the pink line deviates from our original blue line. This is your tip relief. Okay? That's the tip relief. And then the automatic chamfer rounding. Remember, we added the tip rounding. If I grab that one, this is the green line. So now you can see that we've gone from a standard gear to a modified tip. And then we add our chamfer and our radius here, our chamfer, or not chamfer, but our rounding, the tip rounding. Now, and at the end we added elliptical root modification. So if I turn that flank on, we're going to change that color. It's easy to just hit this button. And uh, let's turn this to, let's turn that to orange. If I zoom in here, I'll be able to see that there's a little bit of change in the root 
see that? This is my new elliptical root. You can see how it's um, a, little, a little different than what the, the first three were. So I have all three curves for this tooth, and what I really want to see is the final. So I'm going to turn these first ones off. So the last thing I did was add that elliptical root modification, and that is the one I want to look at. Oops, turn back on. So this is the final form of your tooth. And the same goes for this internal gear. So what you're doing is you're grabbing the very last one of these. And um, I'm going to do a quick check for collision. So I can generate this check for collision right here. Okay. And you can see I don't have a collision. I have a point contact there. And up here I can rotate these gears. And it'll tell me whether I have a collision or not. I can also change the, the flank contact right here. I can make contact right, I can make contact left, or I can move these independently to the right or the left. If you were to have had collision, you would see a bunch of red lines or some red dots like this. This is indicating collision. And all I did was I moved this independently. So if I move it back, right, now there's nothing. I can make contact or I can push it even further and get collision. So we're not, we don't actually have collision here. Um, you can see that the, the, uh, the point contacts are right along the plane of action. So, so that looks pretty good. I wouldn't say we have any issues with that, uh, but that's just some extra some extra information you can use. Now, if I double-click this ribbon top, it drops right back in here. I can turn this off, and now I can see my, my forms. And um, we can see that the – we can turn some of those things on and off, too. If I go to my tooth form and I say I don't want to look at this, I deactivate this. I can deactivate this elliptic root modification. Go back to my data and run this. Yeah, you know what? That modification did improve my root safety for the uh, the sun and the planets. So that's something I probably want to keep activated and use in my design. So we go from 0.95 and 0.75 to what do we end up with? 0.96 and 0.75. We didn't change much on the planets, but it did go up a little bit. So um, this has been the second, I guess, the part two of the uh, sizing of planetary gear set. Uh, just so you know that there's a uh, fine sizing of the cylindrical gears, tutorial 9 and tutorial 11, and those are available in your examples. And you can you can go through those tutorials, and uh, much of that same information is here, but this was a quick example of how you can size a planetary gear set. And it doesn't take very long if you have some boundary conditions up front that, you, um, that you're going to apply. Hopefully this has been helpful. This will help you with your uh, planetary gear design. I'm Ty Warner with KISSOFT USA. You can check us out on the internet, of course, KISSOFT.com. I turn the internet on here. I'll even be able to show you our, um, our website. We have KISSOFT USA, and if you go to our home page, you can see the uh, nice KISSOFT logo. In our download section right here, you can also download uh, tutorials. And they can be Kissoft or Kisses. If I click on the Kissoft here, you can see all the different types of tutorials that are available for you. If you have any questions, feel feel free to email me at ty.warner at kissoft.com, and um, and I'll answer your questions best I can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.